Hey everyone, Aaron here with a different kind of cut. Today is the day that you've been waiting for. We are on the seventh day of marinating this beef jerky. I usually put a little cover on it, or you can use, you know, uh, some cellophane, something like that. But we are going to get this stuff smoked up. Take a look at it. I have been mixing this every day now for about seven days and you can see that the marinade is totally infused in the meat so what I usually do is just have a strainer and a bowl underneath it and I'll take it out and I'll toss it into that strainer to drain most of the juice so I'm not making a huge mess when I'm putting it on my racking I'll just go that toss it right in oh yeah that is a lot of jerky two full eye round rows ready to go in the smoker so what I usually do is I'll take them and I'll throw them up on my rack and then I throw a little bit of pepper on them, get them peppered up, or a little bit of Cajun. I'll show you once we get out into my little smokehouse room. I turned my uh, my poker room, well, it was actually a, a paint room. I turned that into a poker room. It's kind of slowly turning into a poker room. And... Uh, I use it for smoking meat because it has a really good ventilation system in there and I would definitely not recommend smoking anything inside your garage unless you have a ventilation system because it gets pretty smoky pretty quick. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so check it out. This used to be my paint shop. You can see I got all the the trim paintings up there from placing the trim up there i turned it into my little my little poker room now with the little popcorn machine and always my favorite youtuber in the background we got demolition ranch on oh yeah he's pretty much the reason why he's pretty much the reason why i started making these videos but here's what i was telling you earlier having a good ventilation system in your garage because this guy here is going to put out a lot of smoke so what we do is we turn this on plug her in get her going just like that and we will start loading this guy up i always set the smoker on its highest setting to begin with so it basically burns off any kind of bacteria or anything on the racks. I hardly ever clean those racks. Um, that's pretty much the reason why the jerky turns out so good. You can see I've used this thing a lot of times. What we'll do is we'll set this thing down to a temp of the lowest temp it will go. Um, uh, nope, not 100 degrees, sorry. We are actually going to set it down to 200. I thought 200 was as low as it's going to go, but we're going to set it down to 200 degrees. And we're going to cook them for about an hour to get these things really hot. And then we will set it down to like 145 degrees. And we're just going to slow cook it. It's going to take about, I'd say, three to five hours. But I'm going to check it regularly. And I'm going to also put smoke into it okay we are good to go so now it's gonna cool down a lot once I start putting this jerky on the rack here it's gonna cool down quite a bit but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with a full tray so this guy here has has a little insert where you can throw the chips put it in there twist it and the chips fall right down into the smoker right into this tray but I'm gonna start out with a full tray to begin with so I don't have to come back and keep adding more and adding more as we go so I'll take this guy here and we'll slide it in 
right down into that bottom there. But I'm not gonna do that until I get this all loaded up. Otherwise I'll have smoke in my face and I have a big old mess there. So make sure I grab my, my gloves because these are definitely going to be hot. And I'll show you one real quick here. I don't wanna waste your, your time. But we'll take one and we're just gonna slide it in into the rack here, just like that. And then around it like that. It's kinda hard to do with one hand here. But we'll take it and we'll curl it like that. And the reason why we're gonna curl it like that instead of like that is because these will make little pockets as they start to dry and those little pockets will not cook like the rest of it you want it to dry out like that you want it to you really want it to as as it's drying and cooking you want that juice to drip off and onto you know the ones below it so we'll hang them all just like that every other one just like that all the way across all the way back there and then we will also be rotating the racks as we go so that way we get nice even cooks on our beef jerky when I get down to about halfway in this bowl here I'm gonna start putting seasoning on them it'll be uh, Cajun seasoning but I'm gonna do a light coat because what I end up doing after I cook these all and they're totally cooked I'll take the, the Cajun seasoned ones out and I'm going to put them in a bag and spritz a little bit of water in them and shake them up extremely with a lot of different, you know, Cajun seasoning. So when I when they come out of the bag, they're pretty much coated in that Cajun seasoning. And they turn out amazing when they're all done. So, let's get to it. about another hour and we'll see see where we're at for our jerky and see how it looks Somebody on the freeway likes it. Whoa! 
Kids love it. That's good stuff. What are you looking at? All right, so you guys ready to see how this stuff turns up? It's been about four and a half hours, and we ended up not like knocking up the the temperature up to 225 to get these things to cook the way we want it to. So what I'm gonna do is shutting this off because these are done, and I know they're done because I've tried them. You have to kind of test them out as you go. When you break them off, they're gonna look like almost like they're fully cooked, but they are cooked, ready to go. You taste them, if they're good, you're good to go. So we're gonna take these things out. We are going to put them into this guy here. That's the, uh, the regular, and once we get down to the, the Cajun, I'll show you how to season up the Cajun. All right, now that the uh, jerky's all done and cooked, ready to go, we got the uh, regular jerky on the left and the Cajun jerky on the right. Cajun jerky is not actually 100% Cajun yet. It's a little spicy, but it's not ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take Ziploc baggies and we are gonna fill the Ziploc baggies with the Cajun jerky. We do half in this one, roughly half in that one, and then half in this one. I mean, if I had a bigger bag, I'd probably use a bigger bag, but I don't have a bigger bag, so we're gonna use these Ziploc baggies. So what we're gonna do, take a little bit of water, okay, not much, pour a little bit in there, okay. We're gonna take a little bit here, pour the rest in there, all right. Zip lock them up or shake them around. Like that. Okay. Get them a little wet. Booyah! Just like that. And then what we're going to do is. We're gonna take our Cajun, our Cajun seasoning, and we're gonna toss it right in, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna shake it up. We are going to shake this one up. Just like that. Okay. So now that is our Cajun jerky. So once that dries out, you're going to have a hundred percent. Cajun jerky. So what I do with all of these pieces of jerky so that way they don't like get eaten too quick because everybody loves to just eat the whole entire freaking piece. So what I do is I take them and I will split them into little tiny pieces just like that. Okay so now instead of a person eating a whole entire piece like this right they're gonna eat one piece at a time, and you can split that out and have multiple multiple packages of jerky, right? So I'll take this all and just keep, keep on splitting it until we have a bunch of jerky, and then if you wanna go and have your friends eat jerky, you, you got it, you know, multiple bags instead of just like a couple pieces, you know, so you just keep on splitting it and same thing with the Cajun jerky Same deal. You just split it and I guarantee you you bring this to a pool party 
And the reason why I say that is because I brought this stuff to a pool party and I had like family members and stuff. And I mean, I seriously spent hours on this and it was gone in literally an hour just because of the way it tastes. So you just sit there and split it up just like that. Now you got, you got jerky. You got Cajun jerky. That's amazing. Try that. Is that good? Here, here, try that. I got like multiple people over here. Try it. Oh no, hey, there's a dog. <laughs> what do you think of that? Good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, see? It's amazing. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you follow my other videos coming up. We'll see you next time.